Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and I am a stay-at-home dad for six children. Uh, yesterday's video was a little bit nuts. 40 items out the door. Not, not all out the door and you'll see that in just a second. Let's jump into it. This is basically a continuation of yesterday's video, but the yesterday's video got to 40 uh, minutes and I was uh, done with showing you what solds but a bunch more stuff sold. Also, I wanna get into something, so we're gonna do a couple of what solds and then I wanna show you something else. So 17 left to ship out of 40 leaves me with, means that I did 23 packages. And that's what I have in my hand behind me. So I'm able to just leave them at the uh, mailbox, which is awesome, because uh, now I know not everybody's able to do that. Um, and then this morning when I was dropping the kids off at school, I had to go do some grocery pickup from the grocery store because it's much easier to just order them and let them pick it out and deal with the frustration of one of the bags was opened and we were missing something and there were substitutions. But as much as that's frustrating, I don't have to walk around in the grocery store for an hour and a half. There's nothing back here. And I'm pretty sure you even pay more for the groceries when you order them online. Like the shelf price is probably lower. Still had to go into the store, went to U-Haul and got some of these boxes because I ran, basically I ran out of the boxes with my Granger order. And so I still need to place the Granger order, um, but I needed something to tide me over because I got lots going out today. Um, so that's what we're doing. More sales, it is now about 10 15 and i think i've sold five more things today so let's take a look at that so levi found these at goodwill probably six eight months ago and they have sold and shipped and i'm actually curious how far close to delivered they are out for delivery today fantastic so um these are colorado state rams uh, stocking hats, toboggans, winter knit caps, beanies with a pom pom. Anyway, they, uh, I paid a dollar fifty for them and then I found them in the death pile the other day and I was like, ooh, it is time to list those for sure. So I made sure and got them listed and they all, they almost have all sold, but these three sold for all three to the same buyer, total of $57. And then the buyer says, Hey, we are hoping to have these come by Tuesday because we are flying out to go to a game on Wednesday. So on Saturday, those were the only thing that I shipped on Saturday. And they shipped, I upgraded them from ground to priority because she spent $61 on three hats that I had uh, th $350 into, or $450. Anyway, so I'm making plenty of money. I want to make sure this uh, customer gets taken care of. And she says, uh, is there any way I can pay more to get it upgraded to make sure it gets here on time? Please let me know. And all I did was just, because they wouldn't have, they didn't have to ship them until tomorrow uh, because of what time she ordered them on Friday night. Um, and I have two-day handling and the weekend doesn't count. So... Uh, I was able to get them to her. She ordered them on Friday night and I got them to her today. Assumably they're going to be delivered. They show tracking number shows delivery, uh, delivery for today. These books were one that I was like, I know there was something else that was lost and I haven't found it yet. These three books and they're interesting in that they are volume one, volume two and volume eight. None of them would sell on their own for more than about three or $4. Uh, they sold as a lot for $12 free shipping. The new American Pulp. That's what I thought was interesting about them. They are like, oh man, in the 40s, 30s and 40s, people were writing The Shadow and The Avengers and um, Doc Savage and those kind of books. Um, and they were really popular. And then this was an attempt to kind of have a resurgence of that. So I suspect that they're really good reads, but that doesn't make them really valuable. They sold for eleven seventy-five free shipping. Um, and now I have so I did 
I have 17 of the things that you've already seen to ship because um, I ran out of boxes and we just went and got the boxes. So I got to get the rest of that stuff boxed up as much of it as I can. These have to go today. The Ricochet um, uh, remote control car has to go today. Oh, and then I have to find that Walt Disney shirt or cancel the order today. So that's where we're at. And we were talking about Levi buying those uh, toboggan knitted caps. This, as bad as they are, Denver Broncos hat just sold. And all of them are new with tag and knit uh, with a pom-pom on them. Uh, and most of them were NCAA, but this one was NFL. And over here in Z8, there is a Tupac Shakur shirt that sold for almost nothing. It's a... Uh, reprint from probably 2020. If you found a real one of these, a legit old one, you'd be writing a different kind of check. 2020 is sold for $6 plus shipping, six eighty-eight. So it's the next day, but I'm still working on getting stuff pulled. That thing, I had seven that had to go out today. And these, I paid $1.50 a piece for them at Goodwill and they sold for $30 a piece, free shipping, both to the same buyer. Good morning, Mod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad in this home for six kids. I'm not a stay-at-home dad in any other home, but it's just funny to me that I said home when my house is right behind me. So yesterday I took a mental health day. I just, I don't know, I was in a funk. I didn't feel like doing it. I had one package that had to get out, so I did that and nothing else. Um, but that means I got a lot to do today. But check this out. I stay, I'm in this barn by myself a lot with my back to the door and like there's a tree overhead and it's a metal roof so I hear the squirrels and branches and seeds and leaves falling on there all the time so there's lots of weird noises and then occasionally people will come in and the door I don't hear the door from back there but now yeah I'll hear the door when it opens I'm excited about that making small changes today Evie, unfortunately, is sick, but I'm going to use that to my advantage. Hi, YouTube. I, I feel sick, so I'm not going to go to court today. Since my wife is home maternity leaving, she's going to be with her, and I am going to probably work six or eight hours out here uh, all day. So presumably, like this is like stuff that's for our house, donations including a dishwasher and then you guys have seen the death pile numerous times recently if you've seen that then there's going to be an after because i'm going to work on that today but first let's talk about what's sold look at this we're still trending really high so to since i like this was a day before i changed all my promotions to up to 11% to whatever eBay uh, sees fit. Um, and for the most part, honestly, they see fit to have it be 11% on almost everything. Uh, but then since this day that was 283, I have not had a day below 287. Uh, so my days are averaging almost $300. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. Like that $400 day doesn't look like an anomaly up against these. But when I had a $400 day over here, it sure looked like an anomaly above everything else. So um, uh, I, I think, and the jury's still out. I think this, for me anyway, the promoting things, using the promoted listing uh, their suggested promoted is working out for me. Now I have heard, and this is weird, the nuance of what I'm trying to say. I have heard people say that they have heard other people say that they're getting less return on uh, promoted listings. And, uh, but I haven't actually heard anyone say I am getting less production out of my promoted listings. All I have heard is, is a handful of other YouTubers say, 
I've heard other people say that, but I haven't actually heard anyone say that firsthand. So I'm telling you, third hand, there are people saying that. Also, I had a, co a commenter, a supporter of the channel, say that she gets uh, less sales when she promotes her store. And that's unfortunate, but as anything that I do that I say that I'm showing you, your mileage may vary. I am not saying this is the way to have an eBay store. I'm not saying I'm good at this. I'm just showing you what I do, and hopefully you can implement it in a way that is useful for you. But for me, I think the proof is in the puddings, as it were. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. That's where that, that's where that phrase comes from. Maybe you guys don't don't know i have a passion for like idioms turns of phrases where they come from etymology of both words and like phrases why we say things that we say uh and so the proof the proof is in the pudding is a bastardization of the proof of the pudding is in the eating and um uh, that, you know, is it any good? Well, you have to eat it to find out. The proof of the, the proof is in the pudding on this promoted listing things, at least for me. It, I am promoting at a significantly higher number, but I'm making so many more sales that it's not, uh, the, the, it's worth paying the extra for me, in my opinion. So I said I was going to do it for a week and then turn it off for a week. But if I stay, if I'm averaging $400 a sale a day, I'm probably not going to touch much. Um, I do have an interesting sale we need to get to. Let's uh, let's just take a look at the numbers. And I need to put the phone down on the uh, tripod instead of holding it. Uh, we're looking at $17 for $701. It's $700.97, but uh, $17 for $701. Oh, no. <laughs> All of that, and I wasn't recording a lick of it. All of that is if you guys knew that I was recording for 10 minutes talking about things. This thing uh, is the first thing that we're going to talk about. It is over there. It sold for $250 free shipping on promoted listing, and I paid $140 for it, which means I'll make about 40 bucks. But the point of me showing you this isn't to say, look, I sold this thing for $250. The point is that if you find these, buy it at an estate sale for $12. I found them $10 a piece for the little shakers and $15 for the rack at Goodwill. And I still thought I was going to make money and I was wrong. I mean, I made money. I didn't lose money, but I uh, wouldn't make that purchase again at that price. But Bolo, look out for those. If they, if you find them at a reasonable price, pick them up. This, uh, Orvis sweater has sold twice. I bought it at the everything's a dollar sale. And I always say when I sell Orvis, don't sell Orvis. Um, uh, Orvis is going to be a really slow mover. This one is made in Hong Kong. It's all wool. It's, it's vintage. It's Taylor Swift granny core uh, cardigan. The person bought it for $25 free shipping and then uh, said that it's itchy. And well, it's a vintage wool sweater. So I don't know what they were expecting, but itchy is part of the deal. Um, and so... Uh, Vintage, that I, Orvis didn't have anything to do with whether or not I was buying this thing. It's just a cool vintage cardigan. Skylanders, Levi has been comping his toys recently because he got he did so well with all those TMNT. He's like started comping his toys, and they have a huge bin of Skylanders that somebody gave us four or five years ago, and uh, he found these that were worth something. Skylanders, like most collectibles, nine out of ten of them are going to be worth a dollar. But if you get a whole bunch, uh, some of them do have value. So these sold for $25 in two days. Um, 
looks like plus shipping, $25 plus shipping in two days. So there are some hits with the misses. Um, what was the other, what was the third thing? Oh, yeah, uh, I did three things already. Okay, so we have a bunch more to pull and a bunch more to sell, and I got to go to the bathroom. Oh, hey, say happy birthday, Levi, in the comments. How about um, Miss Piggy? I paid, I want to say $15 for three of these. Um, let me look. It's been too long ago. It, there was, it was in a text message. Somebody sent me a couple of pictures of these. Two of them were in worse shape than I thought. Um, maybe I paid $25 for all three and I sold two of them for like $15 together because they weren't in very good shape. This one sold for $18, uh, plus shipping. So that's a pretty good sale. Um, but again, like I'm not making a huge bunch of money, but if you find that, that's what it sells for. In television video games, don't sell well. I got these a year ago at, uh, the Spoon River Drive, the big community, the biggest, uh, like highway kind of sale that we have around here. Uh, well, the other day at the retro truckload sale, I got this in television, which will play them. Uh, but it didn't come with a power cord, so I had to figure out a power cord for it. Then it didn't work. And so uh, I put it up for like, I added these games to it because they'd been in my store for a year and didn't sell. And figured somebody would want them. And uh, I listed it for 23 and I think somebody sent me an offer of 19 plus shipping. Uh, my computer is being goofy at the moment, and so I'm not able to see it right in front of me but those sold in a couple of days and the other in television the one that serial matches the box it's the same in television two which is better than the in television one as far as collectability and value in television two um and this has like almost like a keypad for a phone um as the controllers and that uh the one that was in the serial match box, also no power cord, also no, doesn't work. But that one sold because it had the box and it serial matched the box. And I don't know how much that matters to a lot of people, but it does matter to some people. That one sold for 55 plus shipping, maybe free shipping. My computer looks like it's back up. Let's look it up. Because that sold like in the last couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, 55 plus shipping. Um, let's see what else we can find. Another Hoarder House book, Sentinel, uh, and the spooky face on the cover. When you open it up, it looks like zombie Jesus. And then when you open it up, um, eleven fifty free shipping for that. Just another Hoarder House book, moving them as quick as we can. Bugs and Taz plushies from the 90s. Uh, 97, uh, so post Space Jam, but these aren't Space Jam related. These got a best offer for $5 plus shipping. They'd been listed forever, so I took it. Oh, I had that in my hand, and I thought the guy hadn't paid yet. Darn. Okay. These are vintage Carhartt. That emblem on the button is not what you're used to seeing out of Carhartts. And then that logo is... Not exactly the same as what you would find inside one now. These are probably from the 70s. I paid $2 at a garage sale the first weekend of October, and they are thrashed, messed up, dirty. But some guys like their Carhartts that way. I think that's more a fashion thing. But then some guys are like, I don't care what they look like. I want to stay warm, and those are cheap enough. Let's get them. So... But I suspect this is more of a fashion thing. Um, so those sold for $65.60. Um, and that's everything that has to go out today. So I'm going to get this stuff shipped, and we'll talk about the other stuff in a minute. Man, guys, I am working today. Um, the rest of what sold, let's look at it real quick. I've got it pulled finally. Next one's another one that doesn't make any sense to put up. Slot car tracks, but they're motorific. They don't have the metal these are just kind of set-it-and-go cars. Um, 
And so they're a little bit harder of a sale. And I sold all the good pieces already. This sold for $31.99, free shipping for 96 pieces. I paid $20 for the whole box and I made a bunch of money selling cars already. I always pick up slot car tracks to part out. Ian Fleming, I listed these the other day and they sold in a hurry. And they're not even really in very good shape, but James Bond is such a popular character. The, these are going to do well anytime you find them. Mine sold for $24 free shipping for five in about uh, less than a week. 4XL Pocket T. This, oddly enough, was $2.99 at Goodwill. And I was like, seriously? That's weird. Uh, I found a couple of $2.99 shirts that day at Goodwill, and they were both really good. Like a, a Blackhawks shirt, like jersey shirt, and then this 4XL. And this one sold for $17.99. Free shipping. More cassette storage. This one is a two uh, drawer, only holds 28 tapes. A lot of them that I do are three drawer and hold 42 tapes. Uh, so this one's narrower and shallower. Uh, I had two of those available. This one sold for $20 free shipping. This coffee mug, Walt Disney World coffee mug, it's been listed forever, and it says Grandma on the handle. I suspect with this MGM tower, it is no longer called MGM, and that tower has been on a back lot somewhere, and people take pictures of it sometimes, but it's not in the parks anymore. Uh, it, so this is probably at least as old as 2003, uh, like I think. I'll look it up. I mean, it's old enough that you could have bought a coffee mug in the park at $8.50, I think saying grandma on it hurts it. Otherwise, it would be super cool. Um, and and this doesn't have Animal Kingdom on it. it. I was like, oh, and it has all four parks. But it has a tree thing with the monorail. And then Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and MGM Studios, which is now Hollywood Studios. Um, but no tree. No uh, uh, Animal Kingdom. So anyway... I think grandma killed this thing. It's listed for, it was listed for two years and it finally sold for $8 plus shipping. I picked these up. I haven't sold one yet. I picked them up right after Christmas and uh, they were $15 um, marked down to 90% off. So I think I paid $1.50. I have five, I bought five of them because that was all the stock that they had. Finally sold one, $26.91 free shipping. Um, and I suspect they'll start popping off now that it's Christmas season again. Um, and another coffee mug. This one I got off of Whatnot, uh, one of my very favorite sellers on there, Shannon Fama. Uh, Pocahontas coffee mug. It didn't sell for much either. 1619 free shipping. This is the kind of coffee mug you want to deal with. This one weighs a pound all by itself and is bigger. This one will fit in a six by six by six box with a bunch of bubble wrap and still be under a pound. This one is going to be expensive to ship, but I charged shipping on this one and basically they sold for the same thing though. This one sold for 17 buyers all in at 1744. This one buyers all in at 1736. So literally eight cents difference between those two. And I think that is everything that sold. Um, yeah, that's everything that sold. I'm going to go work on the death pile some. So I wasn't planning to do a little bit of a reveal yet. Um, but we are making a dent in the death pile. Uh, but I wanted to say, I just went over to the refrigerator. Like, you guys are reasonably familiar with this aisle. Um, there's a refrigerator that doesn't get talked about ever and hardly ever used. The freezer gets used for like, you know, extra freezer stuff. When you have eight people in your house, you have to store a lot of food. Anyway, um, I just went over there and my wife put a six pack of, of Coke Zero bottles in there, unbeknownst to me. 
because she loves me and it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, having a Coke and a smile and dealing with the death pile, it rhymes. <laughs> so digging in the death pile, I found these boots that were supposed to go today, but they didn't because I couldn't find them. And the Walt Disney shirt that I thought was lost and I was about to give the person their money back when I finished this task. They were both in that blue tote. So I need to figure out what else is in that blue tote. But digging in the death pile, I found lost sheep. Okay, so I think I made a before video of in here. And we're not way not done. But we're getting there. Um, made a lot of visual progress today. And that's really good. It made, feels like I'm doing something. So all the mess that was you can't walk here is just boxes of death pile there this is all the video game stuff so like all those ps1s that's all ps1 controllers uh and the rest of this stuff is all going to be retro truckload video game stuff this is the donate pile and this is what we still have to do but like you can see like a lot a lot a lot of these boxes are just empty I just have to do something with them. All of this is donate books, this whole set here. I need to make a spot because like all of these books are keep and all of these books all the way forward are donate. So I have like a general merchandise, a video game, and I want to have a book death pile and then, uh, or a media death pile because it's probably also going to include DVDs because there's a ton of DVDs too. But having gotten to spend half a day on it after I got my shipping done feels really good. So I think that's where we're going to leave it off. It's Levi's birthday, so I got to go get him from school and I got to go uh, get ready to take him out to. He picked five guys burgers and fries for where he wanted to go. The kids get to pick where they used to be go to toys r us and pick a toy and pick where you want to go for dinner on your birthday but uh we don't do that toys r us thing anymore for obvious reasons all right guys thanks for watching liking commenting subscribing following clicking the bell and all the things that you do cheers